Hello guys and welcome back to Tarot Vlogmas Day 5. We are 5 days in guys. I'm so excited about that. Just 20 more days to go. Maybe 19 because I don't think on Christmas Day I will have a video. But I'm not sure. It could be. Possibly. Don't know. So we at least have 19 more days to go. Okay your card that we start off with is Anger. Why you got your fist balled up? Angry at somebody. Dealing with feelings of anger is an unavoidable and legitimate part of life and can be done in a calm and thoughtful way. By confronting our anger and focusing on the reasons for it and on the feelings and sensations it provokes, we pay the anger respect and let it exist. By doing this and breathing slowly, we can own our anger and ultimately let it go. Okay, so this is about embracing all of... Uh, the emotions that we have. Bouts to be by Trevor Jackson is on. Oh, babe, I'm about to make my way over there. Ooh, ooh. Some of you could be angry with a lover. <laughs> and they're trying to come. As soon as I get to your room, girl, you better show me something. Some of you could be sexually frustrated. Teasing me won't do it, girl. Need my teeth on something. No need to lock no doors. Ain't gonna need no phone. Oh, yeah, somebody is probably ain't sexually frustrated here. Because I know how to get straight. Oh, I missed it. Bouts to be some trouble, girl. Bouts to hit the bag. Okay. Whatever you say, Trevor. Sitting here half naked. <laughs> okay, your uh, affirmation is, I am in control of my emotions. I, uh, I am able to acknowledge my anger while remaining calm. On the, flip, on the floor, on the bed. Okay, you know I'm about to go hard on you. So, I mean, somebody might want to have some, like, some really passionate, rough love making. I don't know what's going on with this here. He, he talking crazy. I don't know, y'all. I just want to get some of these really quick because this we start off with anger, and I want I want to clear that energy. We don't want to have anger. Yeah, he's talking about going so hard till you hit the floor. So this might be somebody who wants to like come at you with some some aggression in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. We have cozy up with risk. Okay, so be a risk taker. Take a risk in doing something. Somebody might want to be an exhibitionist. No. He said he about to put his cell phone in the trash. He about to be some trouble. He about to hit the bag. I'm going to give you 12 rounds. I'm going to make you mad. See, we started off with anger and he's saying about anger. But he's talking about making love. Jesus Christ. The freaky things we're going to do right here, girl. <laughs> on the floor, on the bed, everywhere. Yeah, some, Somebody is like maybe wanting to come towards you. And maybe some risk associated with coming towards you. Who knows why? We're going to see if we can pick up on what that is. Okay, what is going on in your overall energy? This anger. The strength. Somebody is wanting to be aggressive. Strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. Yeah, I feel like somebody might want to like come in and dominate you in the bedroom. Trust me, baby, I'm going to make you scream. I'm going to make you shout. I'm going to make you slip and slide all around the house. <laughs> Yeah, this is Leo energy, by the way. <clears throat> so you'll be dealing with a Leo. Somebody's really passionate about you. They want to come forward and do all kinds of stuff. He about to hit the bag. He want to go 12 rounds and make you mad. So somebody, somebody got a passionate Leo or somebody with a lot of fire for them. I'm glad it's not the other kind of anger. Okay, we have lost five of cards. Five of cards. Five of cups. Lost. Focusing on the past. Now I see it was, was coming right behind you, being offered to you, these two cups. Look, some of you, this could be someone, this is Scorpio energy. Some of you could be dealing with someone from your past that you fell out with. And it could be a person who thinks that all they have to do is come back in with like some passion, like extreme aggressive passion for you. And it can fix everything. All right, let's see what's going on. That's your overall energy. Let's see what you, what you don't see coming. I'm trying to keep my eye on this TV to see what songs are playing because um, I don't know. Alone. Oh, Five of Cups. Jay Copes Alone. So I don't know who he is, but this song is called Alone. You can hit me up, call my phone on your lonely days. I know what it's like to feel alone. It makes it hard to sleep, but you've been working doubles. Girl, your hustle got these something beat. You'll see the difference needing whatever. When I get you alone... Oh, this person wants to get you alone. Another song about getting you alone. But I feel like it also be, could be some kind of loss going on here. Because we have this five of cups. 
could be dealing with a Scorpio and all of that talking about what he want to do all around the house. That sounds like a Scorpio. They, they a trip. <laughs> okay, so what you don't see coming is the Page of Pentacles. Pages are communication. Um, some of you can have a new job, right? But some good news is coming in from some type of new beginning. Someone that you can depend on and, and is willing to learn something. It's the Page of Pentacles. It could be going back to school. It could be anything. So some of you may be teaching someone a lesson, possibly. Someone who's feeling this loss, who wants to come back towards you. You're like teaching them a lesson. Why? Well, I don't know. Okay, what's the biggest challenge so far in this connection? Because this is a connection. Six of Swords. Aquarius energy and this is about moving from troubled time to like smooth sailing, calm waters transition hmm something is happening around the holidays between you and this person they could be kind of coming back in for this passionate restart with you what well, the biggest challenge has been getting to these calm waters and healing this connection yeah, you're dealing with somebody. Y'all have a really passionate connection, but it's some other stuff going on. What's the ultimate outcome? Resilience. Wow. So this is the Wounded Warrior card, the Nine of uh, Wands, Sagittarius Energy. So something could be happening um, right now in Sagittarius season. The person could be a Sagittarius. Aquarius, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius so far. So this is your outcome. Your outcome is resilience. Your outcome is, is putting up a fight for something. Making a last ditch effort to have something to be a success and being close to that, but feeling drained. So this person has either drained you or they feel this way about you. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what is this overall energy? You know what? No, I'm going to use some different cards. Let's see. Let's use this. This loss and this strength. Like somebody with these strong, passionate feelings, but they're going through some sorrow. I'm not going to take those. I'll take this one. We have self-love. So I feel like you could be loving on yourself right now. Maybe not letting this person come back in for this passionate restart like they always do. And then they're not able to accept that because you're rejecting them because you're loving on yourself right now. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to clarify some more. What else? What is going on with this loss? What's this loss? Mm, look at this. Not for you. You could have given up on this connection because you got tired of the cycle. <clears throat> What you don't see coming is this new start. The, the dependability with this person. Mm. Just for fun. So yeah, you, you feel like they were not dependable. All they did was come in for this fun. Date, flirt, play. That's what the card says. So look at that. It's all about just having fun. You could have been content with that or you could have felt discontent with that and you're tired of it. But I feel like you're tired of it and you're Look, your challenge has been moving away, but I feel like you are because you're loving yourself right now. I can't wait. Loving you is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Don't know the name or the artist, but I'm just saying the lyrics. And that's what made, that's why it's made for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you get all that blank in that dress? I must admit, I'm impressed. See, you ain't no rookie. You are that. Everything is about this passion. You need more blank and less stress in your life. I'm going to try to get you right. I'm going to try to make your legs sweat. What? I know they're feeling you. What? Don't give it to nobody else. Okay, so they want you all to themselves. Yeah. And it says it's dangerous. Something is dangerous about this connection for you. It's just why you're moving away. Loving you is dangerous. Hmm. You stay telling me I'm dangerous and that's why it's made for us. You think I'm bad for you because who really stays in love? Oh, okay. So he don't even, he don't even want to stay in love. But I can't be away from you. See? Fresh start. That's that's the thing. It's like you wanted this fresh start, but this person is 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 a little player. They keep coming back in, and there's some troubled waters, and you keep trying to move away. This is your biggest challenge. Is keep you know starting this cycle over with this person. This person is a trip. He said it's dangerous. 
And that's the song playing in the background, y'all, just in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Um, look, y'all, someone new. Some of y'all are meeting someone new. I feel like this person is, is you know, this is you as the wounded warrior, like putting up all this is ya, yay, Ali, dangerous. Loving you is dangerous. That's the artist in the song. Yay, dangerous. Yay, Ali, whatever it said. Yeah. And I think that's what you felt like here. This wounded warrior energy. You're, you're like worn out and you meet someone new. The bottom of the deck, we have fantasy versus reality. See, and that's the choices that you have to make. Choose between this past person and this new person. To the last, that past person is all about the fantasy, coming in and having a good time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to grab some of these and see what happens here. What is going on with this relationship, Spirit? <clears throat> Somebody's name is Ashanti. Kelly. Yeah. Kimberly, codependency, mm -hmm. codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life, cars, finance and career, I told you, financial issues are affecting your love life right now, I feel like you're really uh, focused on yourself right now, focused on your own well-being, worried about your money, cutting this codependency with this person, and like moving to karma waters and meeting someone new and they are still trying to come back in with this want to bounce you all around the house whatever he was saying <laughs> he was going to come in and hit the bag and oh god who are you talking to like that don't be don't be talking about hitting no bag over here because uh people got insides and they, and they trying to protect their insides i don't know what's going on with these people out here that ain't no love making and we have a wedding so the new person that you're connected to this situation involves marriage you could be dealing with someone who was married from the past. That could be why they're coming for these passionate connections with you to get away from like the boredom of their their home situation. Or you could just be meeting this new person and ending up marrying them. And I love that for you. That's it, y'all. That's the messages for today. I will see you all tomorrow for day six. And we're going to see what that will bring. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Somebody's name is Ron. Somebody's name is Luke. Morris. Kenneth. These are all the names that are coming up. Somebody loves music. Somebody loves music. Somebody's name is D. Yeah. Somebody has a, a nickname Lucky or Luck. Lucky. Has a pet or something. Somebody Lucky. Somebody makes music for sure here for a certain you're involved in music you love music you want to do music something is going on marcus these are all the names that are coming through yeah and this person is coming back for you but i think you're moving on don't forget to like the video y'all subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and i'll see you all tomorrow for day five day six day six day six